Yo guys, what's going down? It's your boy Ali here and welcome back to my channel. And today we are back on Train Sim World 2 and we are uploading my new livery that I've just finished. So it's the GWR uh, TGV, if I can get my camera right, TGV uh, electric locomotive, locomotive, if I can say that right. So I've done a bit of work, M1, R2 off you know you, you get the gist of it so we're going to be saving this one so it took me around 45 minutes to do it because i had to the most pain in the bum was doing the gwr on each side of the of the carriages and locomotives and this gray bit down here but yeah it wasn't too bad it was my it's my first livery that i've ever created if I can get the camera eyes, the camera angle is so bad on this game. But yeah, it's not been too bad. So, save. Back out. Yes. Uh, okay, it's just called New Livery. Okay, so we're going to be going on. So this is it, TGV. Uh, before we do that, I am going to quickly do a scenario with it quickly. Yes! Nice. Okay, so let's do a quick scenario with it. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. I have also created a livery, a not livery, a scenario um, on the Great Western Railway line itself. So yeah, this is my new train. Annoyingly, it doesn't do the second half, as you can see, just as the first half, but still very, very good. I'm happy with that. Right, okay. Cancel service. Power on. Happy with that. Actually, before we close that, let's get the vac to normal. Right on. Okay, so normal LGV. Okay, I've done something wrong here. There we go. Unlock doors. I was like, what have I done wrong here? Okay, so the doors are unlocking, which is good. Yeah, I'm very happy this livery. Very, very happy. Yep. Happy days. And then it's just connected on to the... Uh, I can't think what the livery is for this one. The camion livery, that's it on the original livery but I'm very happy with that yes happy days right so let's get started I'm gonna get desk lights on don't know why that's really like that Uh, let's get cab lights on, lights, let's get all the lights. So that signal there means we are good to go. Oh, that might, might want to change the driver mode so we can get moving. All right, so I have got my keyboard plugged in as well. So we go outside a minute. Very quiet train to start off with. 
This is its horn. Happy days. So also we're going to go out into the camera on number 8 and just see it leave. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. I know the Great Western Railway uh, livery is not the best because it is my first livery, but I'm happy with that. So this goes to Axe and Provence. So we're going through this tunnel. It's not a very big tunnel. So we can go up to 300 kilometers an hour, which is good. And at the end, when we get near to, I think, yeah, here, is it here? No, that's where we have to stop. Uh, it's around about here where we have to change driver mode. Uh, basically, we have to, well, I'll show you. So we have to turn off the circuit breaker, lower down the pandagraph, change it to, I think, C, and then go from there. But I will show you that in a bit. So, if I just jump out the seat. Oh, okay, so I can't actually show you because that alarm goes off. So basically that's to get in and out of the train up there. But they, they've done this very, very well. I'm happy with this. So 64 kilometers. That livery there is also a custom livery but by someone else. But I don't know if you saw it, but it had a um, camion livery carried on top of it. Well, not on top of it, with it. Never seen that one before. So the liveries I've got is the Eurostar livery, unbranded. I've got that one. Uh, obviously got my one. But yeah. So I will be uploading this to the Creators Club. Which would be good. So we're up to 252 and climbing. So this train can get up to, I think it's in kilometers, well, kilometers is 320. In miles an hour, that's 199 miles an hour. And this train goes from Germany to France. So yeah. So let's just see it go whizzing by by 110 mile an hour. Very green train. Ah, I know what the problem is. Settings. Motion blurs on. That's better. Well, not here, but if we do it again. I'll be. You'll be able to see it much better. Yeah, that's better. So 59 kilometers, and I'm not going to pause it and wait until we get to the station because there's only two, uh, basically one stop, so there's no point. Yeah, so we're going about 180 mile an hour, 170 mile an hour here, and climbing. So if I just stop it there. So this unit is a power brake unit, so you can brake with the same controls as you go forward which is the same as the class 50 one, uh, 150 that we got in Penzance which I have done a video on if you want to check it out it's called St Ives to St Earth and yeah yeah, I'm very happy with this livery. I know I keep saying it. I could have added something here. But, yeah. Could have maybe added another Great Western Railway, but where would I put it? You know? If you think I can upgrade this, or do another livery, please, please let me know. And I'll try and do it. 
I was like, oh, I take people, I take the hat off to people who do liveries and stuff like that. It's actually not that too difficult once you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, then it, it's annoying because you want to do it yourself. I get that. But a little bit of patience and yeah, and that's the result. I know the colour isn't exactly Great Western Railway, but there's not a lot of green choices, which is a little bit annoying. Let's get back in the cab. So there's a reduced and normal. Basically, what it says in the introduction, you have to press reduced when a train passes, normal, it just runs on normal. And there's a, if I, well now the handle's off, if I go into, nope, selected speed, go here, and go, oh no, what do I want to do? Uh, let's say 290, and up it, up the power it will start braking because it's got an electrical brake which is quite cool I like that so if I go manual control and absolute gun it for a bit and let's just see this train go past again Yeah, pretty cool. I like that. So we have also just heard about the Steam Railway on this game. It's still in development, but they have made some more developments on it, which I will touch on at the end of the video. But it looks real good. I cannot wait for this to come out. So 40 kilometers to axon Provence. Which is actually a really nice station. I'd love to show you around the train as well once we're at Axon Provence. I know we did leave a little bit late from uh, the Camion. I don't know. No, that's the livery um, from where we were. Two percent uphill, so let's just power, power, as Jeremy Clarkson would say. Speed and power. And you can do climate control, which is that one on. You can change it, which is like on normal trains. Panel light is basically this here, this light here. Can't do anything unfortunately. There we go. Don't know why this is all blurry today. Passenger doors. Uh, gauge light on, so that basically does this bit here. So if I do... No, I don't know, I don't know what that does. don't know. Let's do it again because I love the view. Wouldn't it be good if we can have like a um, two two train liveries like that, or even have the actual class say hundred Attachy series come to the game? That would be quite cool. Right, let's put some power down as we are climbing. So if you have got this um, 
scenario or this map you'll know this train is not the electrical brakes aren't the best because if you do 100% brake it won't work so the best is to do the air brake which is if you're on controller is R1 and L2 which is the best brake but you still have to leave it um, some time to brake as you are going quite quick but they, they've done pretty good on this map I must admit this is one of my f now favourite um, trains 300 okay okay let's start slowing down shall we so I'm now at 4 bar look got to go a little bit more to start slowing down let's release the brakes let's see what the horn sounds like inside very quiet I will soon hopefully be getting some more upgrades for my mountain bike. I received my suspension yesterday. I unboxed it, but I've had to take it down to the bike shop as I don't have a couple of the tools to fully maintain it, if you're not, well, to fit it properly and not just bodge it because that is quite an expensive bike so better to get it done professionally than me bodging it and then paying a hell of a lot more at the end if you know what I mean eighteen kilometers normally I'll start braking from about six kilometers with this train pretty good I like it well I hope you guys like it as well 16 kilometers okay we are climbing again to put some power down I have heard that the reason why they're doing in real life the Ponce and Dane siding is they've ordered some new trains but it doesn't fit into the sidings that have already been built years ago. I don't know if that's true or not but in that case we're getting new trains. I would laugh if it's this one. But that means most of the stations won't, well we will be able to stop, stop at the stations, just some carriages will be locked. Right, let's start putting some brake on. Normally I go for four bars straight away from downhill like this, 3.5% downhill, going quite quick, so only put around 40% for your percent always climbing again okay release it remember I've got 10 kilometers left so I want to start slowing down and have a nice easy approach to Axon Provence look at me saying my French So we'll probably be putting some more brake on any minute. Let's put on four and a half bar. Seven kilometers left. That's around 
kilometers is more than miles an hour or miles should I say so seven about four miles roughly right let's release it here because it's an uphill I'm not even going to break because it's all uphill anyway, so you'll naturally slow down. Three hundred and twenty two hundred and thirty. I wanna start slowing down anyway now. Nice easy approach to Axon Vance. about a hundred kilometers an hour that, sh well, that should be enough I thought still climbing so if I just put a little bit of power down two point nine kilometers is about mile and a half ish I should start seeing it anyway there it is there so Let's start slowing down, shall we? 1.3 kilometers, so I need to start slowing down. Let's release it so I can have a rolling end. I could have added a grey bit down here, but never mind. See that then? It just... I don't know. Ah, uh, okay. Couple of hatch. I'm not going to bother with that. Three hundred meters. I just reduce it then. There we go. Yeah, this is a very good station, Axon Vance. Right, let's start slowing down, four bar. power down again stop 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 and also there is a no trespassing sign here so I will show you so you can get in and out this way but you can't get down there which is annoying and this is the train Yeah, very good. So I'll get some action points here, I think. No. 5 out of 20, no trespassing signs. Great Western Railway. Is there anything else close by? Yes. 6 out of 12 route maps. Right, let's get back into the cab, or the locomotive, shall I say. Lock 
doors, release brakes. Okay, we are good to go. Actually, you can just do eight and see it leave. Very good. So eleven kilometers to eleven kilometers till the power change. So let's turn off lights. Let's normal lights. So we'll probably go to I don't know what it will go to. See what that will go to, the speed limit. Okay, so it's getting slower. Still good view out of this out of the cab. Still got that window there, big window here, and a small window there. But these are evacuation windows as well. So if anything were to happen, you'd jump out that. And here's the long tunnel that we're about to enter. Put some brake on. Got to try and keep your speed. So alternate brake and power. Just look on doing. But as it is downhill, you Try and let go of the brake a little bit, then get the brake up again. Okay, so he's gone to 160 kilometers. This tunnel is pretty much all downhill, and then as you come up, it's all uphill. Here's a fun fact for you. You see that on the wires where they're zigzagging slightly? The reason why they're zigzagging is because on the panograph, is it called? Pantograph. The reason why it's not going straight is so it doesn't wear down the pantograph so there's one continuous line. And then yeah, that pantograph has to be changed. So the reason why it's zigzagging is to have an even wear on the pantograph. So that's some inf random information for you. <laughs> I should start doing that, the fact of the day or something. Two kilometers to the power change location. One kilometer. I'm 
surprised it's down in there. Normally it does it in the tunnel. Let's just continually break. Uh, circuit breaker on. Off. I think it's DC. On. Circuit breaker. Reset. And that is how to change the power unit on this train. When I first done it, it took me several goes. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It took me several goes to do that. I was like, oh, I'm going to give this, uh, this up. I'm never going to use this again. But once I got used to it, it was actually really fun. Really fun to drive. And then when I saw the map, I was like, well, that's not a very long map. Well, look how long it's taken me to do this. How long have we... So far, it's a 31-minute video. So that's how long it's taken me to do this. And I will upload it as well. So it'll be a little bit of a longer video. Right, let's reduce that. Four kilometers left. So we are here and we have to stop at this platform here. Should be starting to slow down in a sec. Such a cool train. Two kilometers left, so I'm going to start slowing down. Marseille Saint Charles D. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Let's get a thumbnail for this, shall we? Three, two, one. Hang on. All right, got the thumbnail. to go that slow. Okay, now I do. <laughs> so in there's like a rail yard. 
Is there any trains in? No. This is what I mean by the Eurostar, look, there it is. Coming a little bit late, at least I'm not like an hour late. There's the Eurostar. That's where the livery messes up. Looks like an old burnt out one. Two hundred meters. doors left locked there we go yeah I'm very impressed with that actually what I'll do is I just shut everything off and the brake off. Uh, circuit breaker off. Tail lights off. Gaze light off. Why is my doors not open? I don't know why I done that. Can I go up? Oh, nice. Where's the bar? I'm gonna go and have a drink. It's cool that the camera can go in here. Here it is. Let's have a drink, shall we? Apparently in here, in real life, it's very, very expensive. I think uh, what he said was a bottle of water was two euros sixty. So it's very expensive. They should be locking. Yes, they are. All right, ninety-two kilometers. Main menu. So let's go and upload this onto the creators club so my mods liveries uh, this one name great western railway um, LGV livery, LGV duplex livery. Livery. Tags. Um, European. France. A 
electric. Fast. Uh, passenger high speed. Third rail? No, it's electric. Confirm. Description. Uh, let's do... If I type it in, into my keyboard. Great Western Railway. Uh, L, G, V, no, oh, well done, if I can spell that right, L, G, V, livery, um, the French, Wanted to try the GWR livery as they were jealous of the Brit, if I can spell British. British and wanted that livery on there. I don't know if it's that correct there, but we'll go, just go with it. The electric train, electric trains. This livery is my first one and I hope you all enjoy much as I do. Creator Screenshots. There is no images shown. Well, how would I do that then? Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, so I managed to get some screenshots and do my everything again. Basically, it was really complicated. I had to press the uh, right joystick and down on the D pad on the controller to take a photo but you can only take like one photo every like five minutes or so it's so annoying but that's it up um so all you need to do is submit uh read all the terms and conditions which i'm not going to read all of it publish uh congratulations your content has been uploaded woohoo and actually, on the day of recording, 
I have actually got to 50 subscribers. So thank you so, so much for everyone who subscribed. I will be doing a 50 subscriber special later on. Uh, probably after tomorrow, which I when I finish work. Um, yeah, so... Return to Mod Hub. So that's my first livery up. So thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, punch the subscribe button. And my new target now is to get to 1,000 subscribers. So on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.